every time I get the opportunity to be around my fellow pals and their families, I am encouraged because they teach there is no circumstance too hard to overcome if you will have faith in Jesus and fortitude to weather the storm. This is a great day to be alive, and I am honored to have shared it with the Jackson, Rodolph, and McLean families. Please say hello to them before you leave the field. Thanks, men. Anything you'd like to share with us? Anything at all? My name well, is, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, my name is Bernice Jackson. I was diagnosed uh, March 21st of this year for my 58th birthday with ALS. But since then, I've been very positive because by me having Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, He remains my strength. He gives me the strength to get up each and every day. And just to know that he's with me. I trust him. And, you know, it's just, it's just so positive to know him as my savior. And that this that I'm experiencing, I don't look at it as something negative. I just know that other people are blessed through my experience. So I just, and it's pleasure to see you guys play. You're on my team. Number one team. So this is a pleasure even to stand here or be here with you all to say thank you and ex um, share my experience as what I'm experiencing. But I trust God each and every day I wake up in victory to know that by his stripes I'm healed and God is in control and he's able. So again, thank you. like to say something. I just want to thank you guys for letting us be here. OJ, yes. um, I mean, my father's had Lou Gehrig's disease the past 13 years, and uh, it's funny, he actually has the same machine, so hearing OJ speak, it's it's like hearing my father, and uh, they got the same uh, sense of humor, so it's, I'm sure y'all know, know all about that, but uh, my dad is able to get through each day the same way, through his relationship with Jesus. And, um, you know, I don't know where all you guys are spiritually, but, um, you know, you're in a position where you guys have, you know, such an effect on young people and people who, who need hope. And, uh, you know, when I was young, I hoped in all the professional athletes and, um, you know, my favorite teams. But, uh, you know, in reality, the only way we can find hope is when we found, when I found Jesus Christ. And, um. You know, he saved me from drug addiction that I, I turned to drugs after my father was sick. And, uh, you know, since the, since giving my life to Jesus, um, you know, and through my dad's prayers, it's been it's been an incredible journey. But uh, I, I'm just grateful to be here. And, um, you know, I just I just want to encourage you guys, you know, use your use the position you're in, you know, knowing that you have such an, an influence on others, you know, use it to um, to inspire them, use it to motivate them. And and. Um, you know, just try to point people up because, you know, that's where we find our hope. Um, my name is Trish. My husband has ALS. Um, he was diagnosed February of uh, 2014, and we were recently told he has three to six months left. We have a daughter who's turning 16 this year. And my husband loves watching you guys. He thinks you're awesome. And I ended up, I, I was convinced to buy a 55 inch screen just to put over his bed, just so he can watch you guys. <laughs> I mean, you guys really inspire him and you inspire us. And he doesn't have a lot of time, but thanks. Can I share one thing? Um, I live in the um, Windsor Mill area. I have the house that I used to decorate each year with the puppies on the lawn. I don't know, but Sudge, you live in my area. But I have the house that I dress up with the puppy with the raven attire. So if any, I haven't did it a couple years due to my health. 
But I'm the lady that when I tell people about my house, they say, oh, you're the lady, you're the lady. I dress up my lawn ornaments with the regular tie, with the, the little uh, jerseys and stuff. So if you ever seen it, I'm the one. <laughs> Come on in here in the middle of us and we're going to teach.